If you ask Ben Kovler, whose family made Jim Beam famous, then cannabis is in the midst of Prohibition 2.0, and that's why he's about to take his company public in Canada. I'm Simone Foxman, and I cover wealth for Bloomberg News in New York. Kovler is the founder and largest shareholder of Green Thumb Industries, a cultivator, processor, and dispensary owner that operates in six U.S. states. GTI products already appear in more than 100 stores, and the company had $20 million in sales last year. But it needs more money to grow, Kovler told me earlier this month. The company will list on Canadian markets through a reverse takeover with Bayswater Uranium Corporation, an already listed Canadian company, near the middle of this year. GTI wants to use the money so that it can acquire or build facilities and licenses in more markets. The idea is to be a first mover in the business, taking advantage of barriers to entry. Cannabis is a burgeoning growth area for wealthy investors who see signs that pot could soon be legal across the country. 29 states allow some sort of cannabis, though most only allow sales of the plant and its products for medical purposes. But because federal law still prohibits marijuana, companies like GTI, which sell medical cannabis, are looking to take advantage of Canadian capital markets to raise cash. Kovler thinks that the parallels between cannabis today and alcohol under prohibition are obvious. Under his family's leadership in the 1930s through the 1960s, James Beam and Company became known for selling one of the most popular bourbons in the country. He believes that cannabis companies will have to behave like alcohol companies by creating consumer loyalty to brands. And by being a first mover, he thinks he can build a weed empire. I'm Simone Foxman for Bloomberg News in New York. You can follow me on Twitter at Simone Foxman and get all your updates at TikTok.